despite differences, in recognition that, is, that this issue is bigger than ourselves. And I want to thank you all for being here today. I'm going to hand the mic over, and I'm happy to do so. There's a lot of strong voices on this issue, and it's important that they are also heard. Yes.
of the grave abuse of power. We know that pharmaceutical mandates of any kind sentence all following generations to lives in which they have zero say over what happens to their bodies. Mandates destroy the last line of defense between a human being and scientific experimentation and scientific error. I don't think media anticipated that their attempts to steer the conversation would backfire, but public opinion is changing. We broke the false paradigm worldwide. People, people started talking to each other, and we realized that we were not as different as media made us out to be. It became evident that those who stand for medical freedom do it out of love for their children and their fellow human beings. People who vaccinate started voicing their support for medical freedom too. The biggest misconception that media is pushing is that pro-vaccine automatically equates to being pro-mandate. That is a lie. Pro-vax, ex-vax, and anti-vax are uniting for medical freedom because they do not want government involved in their medical decisions. There's a serious problem that needs to be addressed. Too many people who oppose this bill have been intimidated into silence. The fear of losing their job is stopping them from doing the right thing. This is a symptom of a society whose freedoms are under serious threat. Thankfully, there is something that can be done to help remedy the situation. Yeah. 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 The single most important thing that people can do to defeat mandates once and for all on this planet is to break the taboo. Turn this topic into an acceptable topic of conversation. Normalize it. Share this with others in order to wake people up to the fact that folks who were once divided are coming together. This subject needs to be spoken around the dinner tables of everyone out there because the threat of pharmaceutical mandates is at the doorstep of humanity. There will come a time when it will be frowned upon for politicians to vote for mandates. And they need to realize the inevitability of this reality and stand on the right side of history. This is bigger than Bill 11. Humanity, until humanity as a whole is protected from pharmaceutical mandates, the medical freedom movement will always be there, growing. I have great hope for humanity, even if we don't know what's around the corner. So much progress is being made. We're breaking new ground, one conversation at a time. When enough of us say no, mandates will be defeated on this earth. It's only a matter of time. I've always been a dreamer, and I want to share my heartfelt wish with you. Yes, Diane. Love you, Diane.